<laughs> that smells incredible. Wow, my hair looks like Hagrid today. Today, we're going to have a little picnic in Hampstead Heath with Peace friends. So, it's going to be another warm day in London. I think it's like 27 degrees. But I think I'm just going to do just a very simple eye, my usual, too thick winged liner that are uneven and then a little bit of blush. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in five, four, three, two, and one. This is the finished look. As usual, I think I've done my eyeliner too thick, but oh well, we're gonna roll with it. And now my Hagrid hair needs to be straightened. Well, it doesn't need to be straightened, but I want to straighten it because it's a bit floofy. P is organizing all of our picnic provisions. Shall I show you his outfit? Cause he's looking extra handsome today. There he is, wearing this wonderful shirt. I love this colour shirt, it's so nice. And then we've got some white linen shorts and then espadrilles. And you're holding, is this Greek wine? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look, he's got a new haircut as well, so you're looking extra handsome. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we were at Aseo. Should have definitely bought some kimbap because that would have been such a good like picnic item. So I'm trying to think what I want to eat. I really want blue cheese, but of course I'm lactose intolerant. It's probably not the best idea if you're going to a picnic. Um, but we'll see. We'll take you along and see what we end up getting. But I really want some kimbap. This is what I'm wearing today. So I've got the dress from French Connection and then this is Pea's linen shirt that I have lovingly borrowed and never planned to return and I've just tied it up yeah. like this in <laughs> a little knot. So I'm going to be bringing this to Greece as well. But like, yeah, I'm loving it. Ta-da! Picnic ready! Let's go! We're at Martin Spencer getting some antipasties. We've got some olives here in the centre. This is what we've got so far, and then we're going to go and get some bites. Chorizo bites. You want some chorizo bites? No. We're now looking for crackers. I actually quite like a cream cracker, I'm not gonna lie. But we're also looking at the black olive ones. Or the rosemary and olive ones up there. Yeah, this is... Should we get that? But well, instead of the cheese twist? Yes, yeah, they twin pack though, there's a lot of cheese twists. Alright. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> We are over at Hampstead Heath now and it's so cute around here. They've got lots of excuse of traffic. Little like pubs and bars and cafes and things leading you up to the park. I'm just gonna head on over and show you. It's very healthy. It's really it. good. I had an outfit, but I ordered a bunch of different ingredients because I want to make Chinese turnip cake. So I've got this. <laughs> and some bee sprouts because I also want to make gonsal malho which is like beef and fun and also fur tomorrow for the weekend as well so I've got a bunch of different ingredients and he's going to go out and get some more I've also got some pancake mix to make Korean pancakes and then some fried shrimp to go with the turnip cake potato starch for the beef marinade to make it a bit more tender got some noodles for the fur and I've got two packets of flat rice noodles for ten, and some Chinese sausages to put in the turnip cake, some ginger, some dark soy sauce for the noodles. I'm gonna be cooking. I find it so therapeutic and it's so nice because it's like a full kitchen now, so I can like cook more again, which is oh such a good feeling. This is what the first haul looks like. Woohoo! I need to get the brand that I like from Chinatown, but this is still pretty good. I've not tried this brand before, so we shall see. And um, so this is a new brand of dry shrimp as well. Just had to use the ones they had at the um, supermarket. But these are the flowers I'd normally use, so let's go. I'm just chopping up some spring onion, watching The Witcher. Soaking up some baby shrimp and then just minced up the tiny sausage and put that to the side. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's finally 
done. It's taken me 45 minutes because I'm slow. Yeah. <gasps> I just found the grater. Oh my God. I hope you think this is going to be like the best turnip kit you've ever tasted. <laughs> Because that was hand grated. sausage I made so much as usual I was I feel like I plan to feed for about 12 people and there's literally only two of us eating but you need to cool this down to room temperature and then you can pan fry it and um, after storing it in the fridge for four to eight hours just so it doesn't go everywhere but yeah I might actually try and dig in just to see if it tastes good now though wow today we've just arrived at a new cash and carry I've never been to this one before. Yeah, let's get a big basket. Do you think they have mangoes? We've got a nice little basket and a hand fried cheese and half fern. We've got baby pak choy. We've got some water spinach. Continues on to here and they've got snacks and drinks. Oh, it is huge. And then this is all like the big business stuff if you want to buy things in bulk. Nice to get the takeaway, like, oh my gosh, look at this. This is Legum Gay's Tassil Sauce. Oh, I always get asked which is the best brand for frozen dim sum, and this is the my favorite one of all the many that I've tried. The real gourmet one is the best. It's pricier, but it's so much more worth it. This will be a hot pot stuff, so we get like the pork and beef rolls here, or hot pot in the winter. Yeah. yeah. We've upgraded to this. The security guard even knew. As <laughs> so we came back, they're like, "You're gonna need this." <laughs> We're now down the medicine aisle. My parents would love this. But P just said oh, that he saw a lobster tank here. Let's see. <gasps> Should we get some more seaweed? They've got crisps. Look at the crisps. Oh no. We're trying to be quick, but I have a feeling I'm going to be here a while. Do they have the salted fish skin crisps from Singapore here? I used to always get this as a kid. Yoohoo! so it stops cooking for one minute and then we're going to slice it or shred it. You need to slice all the chicken because I'm not very good at it and I'm shredding the other bits but yay! This is the finished product so I added a little bit of extra bits including the Chinese water spinach and this Vietnamese uh, pork dish. It looks so good! Please slice the chicken extra well and we've got some spinach no no that's not spinach we've got some bean sprouts on the side some coriander mint and red onion and we're going to use that as a garnish and squeeze some fresh lime juice mm, i'm so excited right, and we also have some sriracha and obviously some fish sauce to drizzle on top don't mind the cable i'm charging my phone yeah. we have the Greenwich rye bread, which is humongous. Oh, and the kimchi. Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. This is the cinnamon bun. And then chocolate babka and pistachio. And then we have a pan of chocolate. He is going to be making us some eggies, some avocado, and smoked salmon today with the Greenwich rye bread. And then we're going to have all the other little breads. And pastries for dessert afterwards. Hello, my loves. It is 
hot day in London today, 40 degrees Celsius. So luckily, we've been invited to Six by Nico to try out the brand new menu, and it is the cooking surface one, and it's available for six weeks. So we're at the Canary Wharf branch, and we have lots of food to show you tonight with matching wines and aperitif. So let me show you. Angela Ho's book. I'm going to show you all about it and we're going to have a lot of British Chinese takeaway food so I'll ever show you. Here we are. Let's head inside. Sign it so this is what she wrote inside the book. So cute, but also lol. I feel like I'm gonna read this and just be rem remembering so much um, from our childhood. But I'm so 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 excited to read this, and also it is on Audible as well if you wanted to download it either as an audiobook or to listen along. Here she is, the talented, incredible lady that she is but I'm so, so, so proud of her, very, very proud friend, and I'm just ecstatic. I'll put a link down below if you would like to order it. Welcome to an episode of Let's Just Cook Whatever Is In The Fridge. Right now, just cooking off some pork belly with some garlic. This is a lot of pork for two people. I did say the pea. I think this feeds at least four people. We seem to think this is a one-person portion, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to have this much and you can have the rest. We've also got some mung bean sprouts and some green beans and some bok chai. Excuse this bit here but this is the final product so we went a bit rogue. I added some gochugaru and then also oyster sauce. I've never had that combined before. But we'll see what it tastes like. P. Addison Black Sesame on the udon. Ta da! Mmm. I'm pleased with this. Me too. to drink it's quite like a good entry level it's a cognac with like a pear flavor and then thought that i put them together you can also make a cocktail so it's on the bottle with this 
two parts lemon soda, lime and ice. Oh, I actually have some lemon. I think maybe it tasted better by itself. <laughs> have it by itself, don't add lemon to it. Cheese sandwich. This is uh, we know what the dog is trying to tell us. Read your own space pod. What if your data was stored? 